Libby again here at Woot Recruit. So we want to talk about crafting the perfect job description, right? I'm just going to cover this in a nutshell. It's going to be a high overview of what does that look like and what should be included. So again, high overview. So we want to make sure that you use your words. The better description that, that you come up with, the better candidate that you will attract. You know, is your company big or small? Is it a, a funky startup or is it more corporate? You know, is it, is it really like buttoned up, like very proper? I'll give you an example. I'd organize it. My cleaning company, we're the most organized cleaning company in the world. And we say that in our job description and we ask, like, how can you contribute to that? How can you live up to that standard? So is it buttoned up is, or is it like leggings in a slipper in slippers? How describe it in detail what the job is. Remember, this is a job description, not a job ad. It is two different things. And then you want to be specific as possible when it comes to the skills that are required. Do not use cliches, avoid cliches in the job description. Actually describe the work. I've heard people describe like a power washer as a super soaker operator. Like that is not what we want to do. We want to avoid cliches or fun little words that are going to confuse our applicants. So you want to make sure that you are very, very detailed in the job description. Everyone in the world believes that they have a great attention to detail and that they can multitask. That is why we want to describe the actual work with detail. And then next we want to really focus on not what not to do. It's we don't want to over exaggerate the physical requirements of the position. Uh, I mean, I've seen some physical requirements of a cleaning technician being like lifting 30 pounds. Well, if you're a residential cleaner, you're not going to lift 30 pounds. Like, yeah, it's hard work and you're on your feet all day, but you're not lifting 30 pounds. So we do not want to over exaggerate the physical requirements of the position. We do not also want to state or imply that certain classes of people are unsuitable for the job. We want to make sure that we keep it open and honest and fair. And at the end of the day, the more detailed you can be in your job description, not your job ad, two different things, the job description, the better chances you have of attracting your ideal candidate. Again, I'm Libby DeLucian with Woot Recruit. If you have any organized or any questions, we're here to support you.